Hey guys, um, this is going to be one of my last lives for now, until next week. Until next week. But um, I would love to talk about this before it even goes very far. Because some of you are insensitive. You're very insensitive about this matter. So first thing first, first thing first, we all know as Ugandans that shows are canceled. We all know that the shows are canceled. The artists who come to Uganda to perform because they were booked. They don't know because whoever is booking them, if they are already booking them, they are telling them, you know, you should come and perform. They can't tell them to come and perform if they have not assured them that everything is fine. It is very impossible for a promoter, organizer, all these guys who do events, not to tell these people that, you know what? In Uganda, everything is fine. You come and perform. Big up on yourself, Dan Magic. Quick recovery. And when you think about it, and you see all these people saying, oh, you, the, the law is the law, and um, the, the, you, you can't be ignorant, and you don't know what, what it is, and whatever. It is not their right to know exactly what is happening. They come to perform. When I go to London, for example, I was in London last year, around this time, I was coming back to Uganda. Around this time, I was coming back to Uganda. I went to perform. All the documentation was done. I'm just going to go there and perform. I don't care if other artists in, 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 in the UK are not performing. That is not what I came for. I came to perform. They have assured me that the venue is set. Everything is set. I have a work permit. I'm coming to work. It is business. Just like any of you would go anywhere to work and you're allowed to work and then all of a sudden they get you and the person who probably took you did not tell you exactly how things work in that place. It does not make sense. You cannot... You cannot start bringing all these things. Oh, you know what? Um, they, they, they need to know that, that this is how it is. You know, the law is the law. That is bare stupidity and madness. That is craziness of the highest order. The problem is with the promoters here who did the show. It cannot be with the artists. You cleared them at the airport. You did bookings for them. You've been doing radio, whatever, promotion on internet and everywhere. You cannot tell me that the authorities did not know about the show. Someone was actually reminding me Kenzo was in Togo performing. I, had, I remember Kenzo was actually performing outside Uganda, you know. Yeah, time you had um, Ziza Bafana performing outside Uganda, but <laughs> when he came back, he was imprisoned in Uganda by Ugandan authority for performing outside Uganda. Guys, guys, let's use common sense and let's have empathy and respect for one another. You cannot tell me that these guys deserve to be in court. For what reason? You get your promoters, get them to court, the organizers, whatever, the whole team, get them there and ask them the questions. But for these guys who actually came to perform, they do not deserve that crap and nonsense. It is not called for, it is unwanted. 
they have to free the artists from Nigeria because they came to sing and they did a good job. I saw some of the videos. These guys performed so nice. They did a good job. They did not know that they are doing a job in the wrong time. They did not know that. So we cannot sit here and say, oh, you know what? They, 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 they had to know, you know? They deserve it. They do not deserve anything like that. They do not deserve anything like that. You know the law, but probably look at, look at, look at Tanzania. Tanzania artists are performing. It's in East Africa. Yes, it's a corona period. But it's different here. In Uganda, it's different. In Uganda, it's different. Probably other countries are now letting in. You've seen the soccer pitches. Uh, some of them in London. They're letting in some fans come in. They're allowing at least 2,000, I guess, 2,000 uh, supporters to come in and watch. Here, it's different because the system of the government works a certain way. You know? It's going to election times. They are trying to script things and make things work for them in elections. The reality is that you should be knowing what is happening. And you should stand for those artists, you know? Thames and Omale have to be free because they came to perform rightfully. They did not know. Whoever got them to perform is the problem. That is where the problem is. I believe the people who actually got them to perform are Ugandans. So they know the system. They know the system. You cannot tell me on that show there was no security. That is impossible. So that means security operatives were also there. So you cannot tell me if you feel like, if you felt like the artist shouldn't have performed, you shouldn't have let them in the country. There is no reason for you to let the people come into the country and perform and then you, you take them to court. Oh, you know what? This is wrong. It's the problem with Uganda. Why do you wait for someone? You can see, okay, let's say you're a traffic officer. You see someone trying to park somewhere where it's not allowed or he's trying to go through it one way and you wait for them like it's bait. Ngolinga kamasu. You wait, you're like, okay, let them make a mistake and actually take that turn and go into the one way. Ngamukwata. After getting them, then I take them to prison. Why not tell them, guy, please don't go this side. There is a one way. That is how things have to work. But it's like you have to wait for people to make a mistake and yet you can see them probably making a mistake and you do nothing about it. I thought we should have that kind of way of actually alerting people and telling them that probably we have a problem here. The artists did not organize no show. Just like how they are saying they are tweeting on these police handles. It's crazy, man. It's craziness. The artists don't organize the show. They came to perform. They are hired. It's work for hire. They are paid to perform. When you see it, I'm, I'm seeing some stupid comments. Like, I've been seeing them. That's why I'm making a live. I didn't want to make no live. But I was seeing stupid comments on my Instagram and some on my Facebook with people who are insensitive and don't really understand what's what. You can't put one to two. 
So you do not know that things work a certain way. So if your dad stole money, do they come for me? Because I was around the area? Or because, okay, if my dad stole money, let me make it even my dad. If my dad stole money, because I'm his son, does it mean that I know about the money that he stole? That I have to pay it back? Does it mean I'm really involved? Even if I'm involved that I'm a son, does not mean that I actually did anything wrong. You have a wrong system. These guys have to correct their system. It's not working. That is where the problem is. Now, because your system is wrong, now you're trying to divert everything and put it on the artists. Guys, some of you on the internet, I respect that everyone has a view. But some of you need to shut up. I, I truly respect that, oh, you probably have like a view. But maybe, maybe you don't think well. Maybe you don't reason about things. Maybe you don't put one to two. You don't put two to three. Maybe you cannot do it. These things make us look bad. You just watch things here and you, you take them lightly, but they make the whole of Uganda look bad. Such things make us look bad. And why? It's because of the system. It's not because of the people who come here. It's because things here don't work well. Watch together. Things don't work well. So for me sitting down here, I am not here talk, talking nonsense. Oh, I'm trying, oh, you know what? I'm trying to look for favors from the Nigerian artists. I'm not looking for that, my friend. All I want you to know is that most of these things make us look bad. Do you know where Teresa? Do you know where Teresa? Uganda is more Teresa, more system, more fool. How things work. People here get emotional. I've been seeing people getting emotional. I've been quiet. I've been quiet watching artists get emotional. Oh, you know what? How can artists come from Nigeria and sing here? They can come and sing. If everything is organized, they should come and sing. Why shouldn't they? <laughs> Haven't they been coming here and sing? They've been coming here. They've been singing here with some of you on the shows. Now, because you're not performing and you look at an opportunity, where you can actually raise your complaint because you want to get back to performing. We all want to get back to work. I want to get back to work. I miss shows. I miss to see the fans perform, see me perform. I do. I would love to be back on stage. You know, I would love to be performing in schools. By the time Corona hit, I had a show with uh, the American Embassy. I had a performance with them. I had shows scheduled that week with um, some schools, you know. I couldn't do that. That was money lost, you know. That was people not seeing me perform. Yes, we all want to go back to performing. But let's not look at a point where you see that someone has gotten into a problem, then you use that as a springboard to push your agenda. This message goes to the artists. Don't look at that as a springboard to push your agenda. Oh, we need to get back to performing. If you're allowing these people, you should also...
that's craziness, man. Look at the times, man. Look at the times. The times don't look so good, guys. Me in the first place, I was looking at Corona and Ambida Bange Like a joke, you know what? Ah, maybe it's conspiracy stuff. But this stuff is real. People are actually dying in some places. So, sometime back here, I think it's yesterday, I was talking to Jacob Bom We had a dialogue. We were talking. And man was telling me about his area where he lives. People have died, at least more than 50 people. And it's the same, same symptoms of corona. So these things are happening. So we have to be cautious. You know, despite us wanting to go back to shows and all these things. But we have to get somewhere before we get there. But let's not use an opportunity of seeing other people in a position in B and use that to want to get back to performing. I also miss money. I'm an artist. I care about music. I care about fans. I care about life. I care about health. I think it's important. And we all should. Sometimes we don't respect good health until we are sick. Uganda, man, to inaquated is our system is fucked, man. Those guys have no fault. Fault is with your system. It has nothing to do with the artists. System is wrong, man. Olimere duo kwa lobuli dibo. Oyagala Teresa. Oyagala Teresa gundi chibuga. Well, you know what? We need to organize the village. You know, we need to organize the village. You clean up. Uganda has to clean up. But don't use these opportunities that you think are opportunities to actually push your stuff. That is how things work. That is exactly how stuff has to work. We have to understand that. I'm sorry I had to do this live. If it hurt anyone, I'm, I, 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 um, I, I apologize. I'm sorry I don't apologize. I was joking. I apologize to absolutely no one. Um, everything I said is my view. I stand for it. And I just want the best for everyone, you know? I want the best for everyone. Let's have empathy, let's have respect, and let's have understanding. It's not just to jump around with words because you want to speak. Because you have a mouth, it doesn't mean that you come up and speak all the time. We can all talk, but what are you talking about? So guys, I wish you all the best today and um, have a blessed week. You know, today is Monday and um, I wish you the best guys. Much love and respect. <laughs>